don't let me near the Kha'Zix and the rest of them, the rest are okay. Yeah, yeah, the Ziggs look kind of cute. Well, yeah, maybe like not smoke the Singed either. The Singed is very scary. Ah, uh, yeah, Singed is just kind of like a dude though, right? Yeah, but he's a psycho. He's a crazy dude. Mad scientist and everything. Fair enough. Oh, but Ziggs is too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ziggs has explosives. What would you, <laughs> what's scarier, explosives poison. or poison? Poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is, is poison. Yeah. <laughs> As I asked it, I was answering it myself yeah. in my head. But we're into game number two. The draft is completed. Oh my, I gotta ask your opinions. Yeah. How are you feeling about the adaptations from Flash Wolves? I like it. I like it a little more. I was gonna say I can't decide if I like it a little better or a lot okay. better. Ooh. But there are some things I want to touch better. on. It's better. It's better. It is here. definitely better. And that's saying something because their draft last game wasn't bad at all. It was a mm -hmm. decent draft. My concern with it was just the tools to carry. The yep. tools to initiate were kind of in the wrong hands. Yasera was the carry. Baisia as the sub was the initiator. This time around, things look a little bit better. Game two loaded onto the rift for Flash Wolves versus FPX. We got our first look from the number one WRL team. And now we get game number two. Man. And like you were saying, as Ysera and Baya try and get the push in the mid lane right now. Wow. Baya is the sub coming in for Flash Wolves. Bruce, the normal mid laner here, now gets to be the carry. Yeah, I want to touch very quickly on what Yezzy just did. It might look like nothing much. We just spaced the two of them, 2v1, and he chunked fire out and forced them to go home. Just solid mechanics all around. Ooh, early exhaust okay. used. So traded back. They're trying to out-trade Bruce, oh and, and they are out-trading Bruce right now. And it's really good as well because you're so forcing spells away. They can't catch his fire with them. Oh, okay. He pulls back. Yes, he but yeah. again, yeah, the Valkyrie. It's so easy to get away. Oh, oh Yasera yes, no. misses the hook shot, throws it straight into the lane, and now oh, under turret no. Cyclone from Fido. Oh, oh Yasera barely lives. Oh my god, and he had no business living there, Kangas, no. to be honest with you. He completely deserved to just get taken down. But unfortunately, barely not enough damage coming in from Fado and Lei and Ysera will get out of there. Fado and Lei might have stacked their Ignites. I think so. I'm looking yeah, at the right? Ignites right now, and they look about the same. Yeah, so maybe a slight uh, yeah. communication. I want to kill. No, I want to kill. <laughs> I want to secure it. And that just ends up happening. If they staggered it a bit there, 100% Ysera would have dropped. Now, Dragon's up. Dragon is up. I have a rule for that one. As a Baron laner, I always let my uh, support ignite first. Yeah, because then the I get the kill. That's the secret. <laughs> no, genuinely, that's the way to do it. <laughs> They're roaming. Let them use the summoner spells for it. Right. Uh, Dragon is secured right now by FPX. They have the package. That's good. By a grounds flash. That's good. With the knockback, but oh. package used by Yezzy, and now we can just trade the damage right okay. back. I just remember what happened. I was pretty excited for a moment, and then I remember Yesera oh, just used his out because he wasted his hook shot. Oh. So if he had out there, that would have been a kill on Yezzy, but unfortunately. Yezzy's stopping the backs. Yeah. He's stopping Yesera and Baya. This is a bit interesting to me. It's a bit odd here. I don't think you can force a play. Maybe if they get enough poke. The death trying. sentence the misses. Trying. Okay, yeah, without the death sentence, there's no way. I would have liked to see Xiaoma maybe try to hover down towards the bot side, go for the Inferno Hellbreaker. That can so is just impossible for you to kill, and we just saw what happened to Bayer when he tried to take it on the Cannon Creep there. That was so annoying. Dive under the turret in the top lane. Cookie's coming in here for the counter engage. Doesn't actually commit to it, oh, though. Man. Flash Wolves jungler not willing to go in, so that means no kills picked up. Father was just so tanky, man. The Wukong stone skin keeping him alive, keeping him safe there. Ultimates get traded, but now 10 seconds to the Rift Herald package is up. I feel like this might be FPX's timing to swing back at Flash Wolves. They have a slight gold lead in their favor. They have lanes pushed in the Baron lane, and they get the turret now. Two turrets to one, they're already on the Herald. They're gonna start this one off, and they do it so quick. Watch Bio, watch Cookie. The main engage, the front line. Cookie goes in early. He Cookie just walks it. up and steals it. Out. Okay. All right. I mean, that's one way to do it, Flash Wolves. We 100% take those, and they get the mid lane turret without mid having right to now. use the Herald as well. Exactly like that. Now, FBX have to respond. This should be Dragon the Flash Wolves. This is a really big swing. If the SEA second seed can Cyclone. land this, this is huge. The death of this land, so Ysera's already almost out of the fight. Isan's in trouble. They dive in, but FPX, again, their battle lines are just too strong. They this. get a kill. Fido actually goes down. Cookie oh, with a massive no. stun onto the entire team. But FPX, oh, no. they weather the storm. A double kill to 7-Eleven. Oh, Make it God. even more. The triple comes through. And
and they're back on the dragon. And they want Bruce as well. They're getting the dragon. They want to get the ace. One snipe from Lay. That's all it takes. Oh. oh, Bruce gets out with a relentless pursuit. But FBX, they already got their prize. Man, Kangas, how good is this FBX yeah, roster? Bruce I genuinely thought his best there. 3,700 damage, out damaging a cocky yeah. and a Ziggs. It's not something that's easy. And now he's looking for even more. Oh, oh man. They almost got Yezzy, but maybe Lay will be enough. Ysera's even here. That's what? that defused, and they commit the Hexec but ultimatum. Why? Killing spree for Bruce. But it's just so unnecessary. You need to keep the picks going. You need to keep pressuring with every single pick you have because Flash Wolves need to make plays. They need to outscale. Committing the Hexag ultimatum there cost them so much tempo. They committed. Brave. Now Four they have ultimates. some vision down. Yes. Baya, hard committing on delay right now. Again, it's the support who's locked down, knocked up, focused. And Flash Wolves throwing everything at Lei. They get another kill. And I feel like it shouldn't be Lei that's face checking. He is the Lenten bot right now. That's his job in the team fights. Mm -hmm. Let Fado face check. He has the clone. He has the stone skin passive. And you can Lenten him out. This is the first time I think FPX have made a strategic mistake. As now Flash Wolves, it's a 1,000 gold lead. Look at that gold grab. <laughs> but we'll take it. It's all about it's priority that. in these oh waves. Boy. Who can get the lane states so that you can actually walk at these objectives? The Elder's coming up soon. Fado goes in, the Cyclone is used. Lantern's to safety. Now where's the re-engage coming in? From Flash Wolves, Vaya goes in. Trying to stay alive as long as he can. Run out now. No the reset. Sims Poison's doing so much work here as Ysera re-engages. This is good for Flash Wolves, but FBX, they just hold on for so long. They get the first kill of the fight. Fado goes for Double kill to 7 11 and FBX wow. just cannot lose these fights. And Kangas, every single fight, we say that this could be good for Flash Wolves. This could be it for Flash Wolves. And it never is. FBX are so good at resetting the fight. They just disengage, reset the battle lines, and come back at you when they know they can win. After the cocky pokes you out, after the Zakes pokes you out, Can't and they fight, earn their Kangas. reward. He's been outskilled. He can't even walk up. The last two team fights, he's tried his best. He frankly really has. Uh oh. 7 Eleven. Wait, Baya. I, I think Baya was just uh, looking at the he shot right the there. He wasn't quite ready. Cookie oh, picked man. off with the long range Mega Inferno Bomb. And Baya, maybe burning down here, barely alive. Lay lands another Flay with a death no sentence. Way. Flash Wolves dying under their tier two. And FPX just pull a play out of their magic hat. The monsters came to fight. FPX, doubters be silent, haters be damned. FPX dismantle the second seed from SCA and pick up their first win of Icon. And what a way to win it, too. 0711 says, I've had enough of.